Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's gonna be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series that I post every Wednesday. I'm gonna chat with you over all of the new makeup releases. I do have a few items that I got in PR that I'm gonna share with you in the beginning here, give my thoughts on them, and let you know what I think about all of the new releases. So I do always link my playlist down below. I'll also link the community playlist, and yeah, we have a lot to get through today. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'll start this off by saying that I do have a different lighting situation going on, and I've been here for a while trying to get it to where I think it's passable. I don't think we're quite there. We're just like just under that, so don't mind that, but at least it stopped buzzing because it was buzzing for like 45 minutes. I just left it on and read a book and ate some cheese and crackers waiting for the buzzing to stop. So at least the buzzing has stopped, which is great. Uh, but uh, I do have a few items to show here in the beginning. So I recently started doing, if I received anything in PR that I would be talking about this week, I haven't touched on them in the past Will I Buy It videos. I'll like physically show the products so we can see them as I chat about them. So first up, what I have on my eyes and my lips today, e.l.f. is doing a collaboration with Jen Atkin. So Jen is a celebrity hairstylist. She's the creator of Way Hair Care, uh, which is available at Sephora. So, I mean, I definitely didn't see this collaboration coming. I wouldn't have guessed it, but I feel like e.l.f. is really like doing the most right now. Like they're doing the most right now with their launches, with their collaborations. They got a lot going on. What I have on today is one of the palettes. This is the Let's Elfing Do It palette. And I really like that the palette has two, there's two different ones to choose from. Oh geez. Oh geez, I can't get this out. Oh no, I have no tools around me to help me get it out. Um, okay. So we have another palette in here that I physically can't get out. Well, it's funny because I actually went for the palette that was the for the darker skin tones, but I was really interested in the highlight shade. So you have face and eye shades. I was gonna use this highlight all over my lid, and then I ended up going with like an all matte moment, and I even used the black shadow, and I was like doing a wig. I don't really know what happened. It was completely different than what I thought I was gonna do, but that's how we ended up. But good thing, I mean, I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to pop it out with something, but ah! I'm gonna work on getting that out. So I like that you have the two different shades to choose from. I appreciate that. And then I did also use one of the eyeliners. And these are the, let me tell you, the Zero Effort Liner. So this is a wooden pencil eyeliner. And when I first saw this, I was like, that just seems scratchy to me, right? Like I was like, I don't know about that. Mm, but it's actually really, really creamy. It glides on so smoothly. I tight lined with it. I was. So actually, I was actually pretty impressed with the liners. And then I also put on, these had me really curious. These I think I, I was most curious about. These are the Lip Duos and the actual name of them because I don't see it on the product. These are the, Extra Lip Duo. Don't know why that took me so long. These are $8. So on one side you have a lip liner big fan and then on the other side you have a matte lipstick bigger fan bigger fan of that so I'm a fan of lip liners and I'm a fan of matte lipsticks so when I saw this I was like okay so this is the one that I have on my lips I don't think this one has a sh there's no shade names on it I don't I'm not really understanding what that's about hmm that's kind of strange so but there's that so the lip liner was actually kind of, it wasn't as matte like the lipstick is matte the lip liner had a little bit more of a sheen to it, but then when I put the lipstick on, I was like, okay, like, I'm feeling this. It says on here, if you show off your power post with the hashtag Elf made, uh, for every post, Elf and Jen will donate $1 to Girls Inc. Um, so I love that. Jen has a quote saying, it's important for me to pay it forward and help young budding entrepreneurs with their ideas and dreams. Uh, so the rest of the collection... Um, the lip duos are $8 each. The palettes are $14 each. There is also a skin mist for $8 to moisturize. has an irresistible coconut scent. Um, the eyeliners are $5 each. And then there's also a brow pomade for $8. I don't usually go for a brow pomade, but this is also included in here. I would say from the collection, I was most curious about the lip duos because it just seems like a product I would go for quite a bit. So interested in those. You know, the eyeliners, I don't think I would really gravitate towards myself, but I'm really glad that I tried them because first impression, they're really nice. This was the first time that I tried this collection. And then, I don't know, something about the mist is also calling to me. 
I don't know why, but that's, that's I think, what I would most be interested in myself. Uh, but I am planning to do a video with the collection also. I didn't film this today. I'm not really feeling at the top of my game. So sometimes when I'm not feeling at the top of my game, I don't... I guess I did film my brows, so there's that. But yeah, I wasn't I wasn't really like feeling myself today. So, but I will be doing a video with the Elf and Jen Atkin collection. But I would love to know what your thoughts on it. And thank you to Elf for sending this over. Like I said, I did film my brows because my girl, Shar Shar, has come out with some new brow products and she sent them over to me. Thanks, girl. So we have from Charlotte Tilbury, we have, she came out with the Brow Fix, a clear brow gel. Also the Legendary Brows, which is a micro precision tinted brow gel. And then two different brow pencils, the Brow Lift. And then also the Brow Cheat. This one is more precise. I wouldn't say it's really like precisely my brow though, because it still actually kind of has a teardrop shape to it. Just a lot smaller. Um, but this is what I used and I did film for IG Reels. I just like really zoomed in on my brow. You guys, the amount of ice cream I have eaten in the past while here is really off the charts. And I even took a food sensitivity test recently. And dairy is the number one thing that I have a sensitivity to. The number one. Followed by bananas. Followed by egg whites. And I'm like, mm, let's go to Dairy Queen so I can get a chocolate cone dipped in chocolate. My skin is so mad at me, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, we're gonna get through it. So I like zoomed in really close and just to film for my brows. So that will be coming into my IG Reels. But I really liked this off the bat. Uh, I thought it was smooth, pigmented without being like too hard to work with. I don't know, I felt like it was really easy to use. So, so far, so good. This is $25, which at first I felt like was pretty pricey The to compare it to the benefit again, those are 24. But this is actually refillable. So you, when you're done, you can just take wait for it you can just take this off and then you can purchase the re the refillable which is 15 and then you just pop it back in i really like that because brow pencils are something that you can go through pretty fast even me who like i'm not a brow master by any means but i can go through brow pencils brow pencils pretty quickly uh you have a spoolie on the other side so i really like that concept you know you can just have this and keep repurchasing the refillables i don't know i thought that was pretty cool so these are available now and they're at sephora so I will link everything in my description box. All right, we have one more product to share. By we, I, I mean, I mean me. I have one more product to share with you. And this is a skincare product. A pharmacy came out with a new product. This is their Fillin' Good. Fillin' Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. So this is available now and at Sephora. It's a $44. So it says it's supposed to plump up skin and visibly reduce appearance of fine lines and wrinkles in less than one hour. It's their new anti-aging beauty booster. The foundation of this formula is advanced multi-molecular hyaluronic acid designed to better mimic what is naturally occurring in the skin and penetrate more efficiently than traditional hyaluronic acids to provide optimal hydration. Okay, I do also wanna say on the back of the card, it says, for every purchase of our Filling Good Serum, Pharmacy will be donating five meals to Feeding America, the nation's largest hunger relief organization. So thank you so much, Pharmacy. I think that's fantastic. Thank you for sending this over. Okay, for the hyaluronic acid, oh, I forgot to say, for the Charlotte, I tried to say, even if I get something in PR, what my thoughts would have been if I would have bought it. Um, I think that I would have bought the product that I tried today, the micro... Was it the micro cheat? I don't get everything from Charlotte and PR, you know, favoritism and all. She doesn't want to, you know, it's a whole thing. Uh, so usually, it's a joke. Usually what I don't get from her, I end up purchasing anyways because I do like a lot from the brand. So I think it would have just been that one brow product to try out because I don't really do like a tinted brow gel or a clear brow gel or things like that. So wanted to say that. For the pharmacy, my skin doesn't seem to enjoy hyaluronic acid. And for a while, it was simply because I was using the ingredient wrong. You really wanna use hyaluronic acid on damp skin because otherwise, if you use it on dry, it's actually pulling out the hydration from your skin and doing the opposite. I really don't think brands, influencers, etc. I don't think, especially in the beginning, that people talked about that enough or there was just like knowledge on how to actually use the ingredient. Um, so I would definitely was using it wrong for a long time and it really messed up my skin. But now, even though I know how to use it correctly, I still feel like my skin prefers, prefers niacinamide. So I don't think I would have grabbed this myself, even though I really like pharmacy and I like a lot of their products. And when I first saw this announced, I was like, hmm. So because they sent it, I kind of want to try it. 
sometimes I really like to live on the wild side when it comes to skincare, let me tell you. But, you know, they're saying it's different. They're saying it's different from other traditional hyaluronic acids. So maybe I should try it out and this will be the one that I like. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over so I can add in some photos. I'll link any of the Instagram accounts that I am reading from or using photos from in my description box. Let's start off with Rare Beauty though, because uh, this was just recently announced and I've gotten a lot of tags on it and a lot of people have been asking me about it. Um, that sounds like such an influencer thing to say. A lot of people have been asking, but it's true. It's true. <laughs> I said, one time I said on my Instagram stories, I, I'm the person that like forgets to link things. I'm the person that forgets to like talk about where something's from and then people are like where'd you get that can you link that and I'm like oh yeah I should be doing that I just sometimes don't think of it <laughs> bad beauty influencer <laughs> but from rare beauty they're coming out with let me tell you the discovery eyeshadow palette true to myself seven shades with different finishes for $29 there's also the always an optimist weightless eye primer for 18 and these are going to be available April 12th and then I also saw that they're coming out with the always an optimist pore diffusing primer that's going to be available on April 5th so I think out of everything, I really am curious about the eyeshadow palette. I definitely gave it a double take. I was like, oh, and I don't know if some people will be mad because of like the pan sizes. Like some people get really upset about like shapes and sizes and eyeshadow palettes. I, I personally don't, but I, that was like one of my first thoughts. Like, oh no, what are people going to think? But I gave it a double take and then I like looked at it more because I was like, did I give it a double take just because it looks a little bit more unique? You know, marketing, packaging, all of that's a thing. So I made myself look at it a little bit closer and I was like, that is so kind of like the shades that are in there. I don't think $29 is a bad price. So this one's not gonna be out until, what I say, the 12th and the Sephora sale starts the 9th. I will have a video on Friday on the Sephora sale and my recommendations, my wish list is already up. So I was planning to purchase on the 9th, but I don't know, I might still go back and purchase this one because I think that it's pretty and I haven't tried the Rare Beauty eyeshadows yet. So I, I would be open to it. I did get a DM from Rare Beauty, which I was like, really? Uh, they did ask me for my address. They said they were launching something and that was a few weeks ago. So I gave it to them. Um, I haven't gotten anything yet. I've seen quite a few people getting their PR packages over the last few days and I haven't gotten one. So I don't know. That happens often. I mean, that's just a thing that happens. So I usually try not to get too excited when I get contacted by, by a brand or anything like that. Cause you just like never know. Um, but if I get it, I will definitely try it out. If not, I think that I will just go ahead and, and purchase it on my own. But I just thought it was kind of funny. Cause I was like, is Selena trying to get on girls? Hey, like what's going What's good? Hit me up, girl. Because um, the first Rare Beauty launch, I didn't really love a lot of the products. They just weren't really suited for me. But the second launch, I really did like the, is it the melting blush, the cream blush? And then the lip balm, glossy balm. I was actually going to wear that today, but instead I did the Jen Atkin collection. I really like those products. So I don't know if I'm like getting on Selena's good side now. I don't know. All right, Huda Beauty is coming out with some new products. These are new lipsticks and lip liners. We have the Power Bullet Cream Glow Lipstick for 25, Rich Creamy with Medium Buildable Coverage, and also the Lip Contour Lip Liner for 19. This does say it's a new formula, and I've tried the Huda Beauty lip liners in the past, and I didn't mind them, but I didn't love them the way I do some other lip liners. So I would I would try those. Like That would be like, a, I'll throw it in my cart at the end of my shopping trip kind of thing. I don't think I would love the Power Bullet Cream Glow. I like the ones in the matte formula and I like her matte liquid lipsticks, but I either prefer a matte lip or a glossy lip. So the in-between like cream products, probably not, not gonna be a favorite for me. So speaking of cream products though, um, Fenty Beauty is coming out with this new duo in their Gloss Bomb Cream in Double Take. So you have the lip duo for $29, there's a bubble Bubble Binge, which is a dusty pink, and Cupcake In, which is a hot pink. I would have thought they would be, I feel like Bubble Binge, I feel of like a hot pink color. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, I haven't tried these yet though, this formula, but again, I don't really go for the cream lip products all that often, so I feel like it's probably best for me to skip on those. But then also speaking of Fenty Beauty, because a lot of you have been tagging me and talking about this one. This is, let me tell you. A new addition to the Gloss Bomb, this is the Gloss Bomb Dip. Now when I first saw the name, I thought it said Gloss Bomb Drip, and I was like, okay. Then I realized it said Dip, and then I realized what the product was, and I was like, okay. This is, the gloss we love is now in clip-it-on packaging, so you can easily clip it onto your clothes, belt, or wallet. 
for peachy nude glossy lips and just a few finger taps for $19. Okay, so, you know, I've never felt the urge to clip makeup on to my body, but there's probably people that have, you know, maybe you're someone who loses your lip gloss a lot, this will be Ray Hunt, you just clip it right on, then you're not gonna lose it. So I get it, I can see the market. Um, but I don't love the idea of like constantly having to dip my fingers into the lip gloss and it's been something that I've been aware of in like skincare, complexion products, again like just struggling with acne of not putting my fingers into something on my face and then putting it back into the product. And even when it comes to lip products, I just don't feel like I would love that. So I'm kind of surprised there's not, or maybe is there an applicator? Mm, I don't see one. I was thinking maybe if there was like an applicator, maybe it would be... You could at least, I don't know. Because like even with my Laneige lip balm that I use at night, I would always just stick my fingers into it and now I have a little applicator. And then I just clean the applicator. So if this one is not going to be for me. Curious to hear your thoughts on it. You know, I like new things and like innovative things. This one I didn't see coming though. All right, I see some different palettes and collections coming out. So from Makeup Revolution, they're doing a round three with friends. So we've already had rounds one and two. Have you guys bought anything from those? I feel like I really haven't seen a whole lot about them. Uh, but in this one, we have some eyeshadow palettes for $18 or $12, a lobster mirror, a cosmetic bag, there's blending sponges for $12, sheet masks, mini setting sprays, and then the Rachel, Phoebe, and Monica set, a lip gloss set, or a central perk set. You know, I love Friends, and I've, I mean, I've seen every episode multiple times, but I just don't really love Makeup Revolution, and I feel like this collection and collabs just, they really haven't done anything for me. Out of this one, I do like the sponges, and I think those look really pretty, and like the deep purple one, I think that looks really fun. But I don't think it's going to be enough for me to make a purchase from them, so I don't, would love to hear your thoughts if you've purchased any of these. I'm curious, because again, for me, I feel like I haven't heard a lot, but I can't hear everything, so even though I have large ears, I can't hear everything. Uh, moving on. So from Stila. We have a new eyeshadow palette, the Camouflage Beauty. This includes eight matte and shimmer camo inspired shades for $36. This is one when I saw it, I was like, oh, hmm. Like, I feel like it's interesting, like it's close, but like it's not all the way there. Like I was like, hmm, hmm, you know? Like one of the, it was like one of those. I like that green shade, thank you so much. I feel like the palette like doesn't quite make sense to each other. Maybe that's what it is. I feel like it's like two, I feel like it's two different quads and it's not one eyeshadow palette. I feel like $36 is also kind of pricey. I am a little worried for Stila though. I feel like after Becca, there's a lot of brands and I'm like, ah, oh. like, should I be worried for them? And you know, there was a time where Stila was like really hot and popping. I mean, even before YouTube, my booty was going to Ulta Beauty to purchase like some some mixing thing that it was like a DIY eyeshadow. It came with like a droplet of liquid and a tin and you had to like put the liquid and then scoop the pat and then I was buying that. It was like $40. I don't even like I don't know why I did that. But now I just I, I don't know. Like I I want the I, I want everybody to do well. So like I hope it does well for them, but I'm just also like it's just not really for me. We have from Melt Cosmetics, this is the Mary Jane Collection. Inspired by dense tones found in cannabis smoke and the luster of crystal coated buds, she is elevating your classic smoky eye with gunmetal and hazy crystalline hues. There's also a new product called the Glitter Pots, which is sensational glitters in multi-dimensional metallicized hues that amplify your look. No special primer required. Okay, and there's also an eyeshadow palette. Um, so far, I think, I just see coming soon. I went to the Melt website to see if I could find more. The collection is retailing for $135, but I didn't see things separately, and I didn't see a date on it yet. So, not sure if by the time, I'm filming this on Monday, um, if by the time this goes up, you know, I always have all the, the information in my description box. So, when I, funny story. <laughs> when I first opened up this post and it said the Mary Jane collection. I don't know why this is where my mind went to, but I, I read it for some reason as Betty Jane. I mean, Mary and Betty, I feel like that's close. I was like the Betty Jane collection. I don't, I don't know if Betty Jane stores are, I don't know where Betty Jane stores are because there's none here. I don't think there's any in Des Moines, but in Dubuque where I'm from, 
it's a chocolate shop. It's, a, it's like a full-on candy chocolatier shop. And they used to have multiple locations and one used to be in the mall. And like every time I went to the mall, I would have to get this chocolate sucker from Betty Jane's and it was like 15 cents. I was like, hit me up with five of them, thanks. And I loved them. But I just thought that was funny that that's where my mind first went to because this, this is not a collection about chocolate. But that's what I thought of. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Uh, so it's, you know, it's not totally my vibe. It looks like the palette, you know, I can't see the full thing yet, so it's a little bit hard to say. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more cool toned. A lot of the shades look to be shimmers, again, in this, this small little thing that I can see, so I'm not really for sure. The glitter pots, I like, I feel like I'm interested in that, especially with the no, pr like, special primer needed, because I don't usually get down with that. I'm usually just going straight in on my eyes. I don't think I would need it, though. I am still curious about the Melt Cosmetics like cream blush that they're coming out, that they just came out with. That's still on my Sephora wish list, but I don't know. I think I'm probably going to pass on that. Speaking of cream blush, Hourglass is coming out with the blush sticks. Uh, let's see. These are going to be available April 6th on the website. I don't see the prices on them yet. Uh, I am. This is me with cream blushes. Like, I don't know what has happened, but it was like, at first I was like, none at all. Then I was like, maybe I'll try some. Maybe I'll try more. Now I want more. Like, I don't know what has gone on. I'm not sure what has changed for me. <laughs> it's kind of freaking me out, though. Um, but I feel like there's some other ones that I'm pretty interested in. Like I just said, the Melt one is still on my Sephora wish list. I feel like I have another one on my Sephora wish list, too. Can't think what it is, though, off the top of my head. And I'm still, honestly, I've talked about this in the past, but I'm just really still unimpressed with the Hourglass's lack of even talking about their lack of inclusivity. Like, they just keep going on like it's nothing. I just, it's very confusing to me, and it's a little bit disheartening to me because I really, really like Hourglass, and I want to enjoy their products, but, like, I just find that really bizarre. So I'm probably going to pass on that, to be honest. Uh, let's see, I feel like there's... A few different lip products to talk about. So Too Faced has a couple things coming out. One, this says new flavors of the pillow balm. Banana chocolate mango watermelon. And there's a restock of the original. What is, I, I, what is this? I feel like I've never heard of the pillow balm. When did this come out? I have no idea. I feel, when I did my eyeshadow palette declutter, there was a palette in there from ColourPop. And I was like, I literally do not remember this palette coming out. And I would used it. You can see I used it. feel like I'm losing my mind so it's probably gonna be a pass for me though and then they're also coming out these are available at Ulta now the new lip injection power plumping cream liquid lipstick um, these are $25 each I really do not like their lip injections it's a no for me I don't like them at all so that's gonna be another no uh, I see from Gucci they are coming out with the Rouge de Beauté Brilliant Glow and Carrot Lipstick uh, it's supposed to provide 24 hours of long-lasting hydration and shine. Creates a luminous glowing finish and long-lasting shine. I just said shine twice in the same sentence about a lip product, so that's going to be a no for me. It says it's between a sheer and a satin lipstick, $42 each. It's going to be a no. I'm, I really prefer matte or glossy. I don't really like the in-between, so that's going to be a no. And then Winky Lux. Speaking of oh, Winky Lux. Speaking of ice cream uh they're coming out the neapolitan inspired tricolor duo so there's the ne neapolitan balm and then the gloss and these are 18 dollars each looks delightful looks delightful not gonna ma really makes me want ice cream for the fifth day in a row skin be gone uh i am curious what like how long that would last because like it's super cute but like how long is that gonna last and like for the gloss how they have it in that like wouldn't it get mixed up at some point I don't know. I'm just like curious about that. I'm not sure how that would go. And I feel like it would be very dangerous to have something like this in my house because it would just make me want ice cream like all the time. So not that that's different from much else, but I, I, I'm probably going to pass on that. <laughs> all right. I think we just have some skincare to end it with. So it was announced that um, Desi Perkins is now launching Desi Skin. I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts on this. You know, I have people tell me a lot, like, Samantha, it seems like you do a lot. 
it seems like you have more hours in the day. Like, so I created an Ofra X Samantha March playlist, which thank you so much again to everyone who has supported the collection. Um, I'm filming this a week after the launch and it's just been like the, cr like honestly, like just the craziest week, <laughs> just the craziest and most exciting week. So thank you all again for that. And for anyone who's making videos, I did create a playlist. And so if you've made a video about the collection, if you can send me the link or tag me or like let me know so I can add it to the playlist, that would be amazing. And thank you so much. But I was watching the playlist the other day and it was like three videos in a row where people were saying about me like, Samantha has more hours in the day. How many freaking hours does he have? Hello? Like, I just don't have a social life. Like, that's my excuse. Desi has friends and a son and a Tia and her own different like, like, I just, I don't, what? I just don't understand. So she launched Desi recently with the sunglasses. I literally have a pair of sunglasses looking at me right there. And now she has Desi skin. I'm like, okay. Okay. So the first launch is going to be the Claro QC Serum. Uh, this is their Vitamin C Glow Serum, available April 8th. So we don't know much about it yet. Like, I haven't seen ingredients on it yet. Um, I don't see the price on it yet. So I don't have a whole lot to go by, but I do like vitamin C in my skincare. And I've been looking for a new one. So kind of depending on what I can find out about the product, maybe I'll pick it up. Like I said, I've picked up some sunglasses. I really do enjoy Desi, and I find it very inspiring to see what she does. Um... You know, I know that we've, we've, there's, there's oversaturation in like everything at the moment, makeup and skincare and clothes and like all of the things. Um, but I don't know, but I, I look at someone like Desi and just like a female entrepreneur and doing all of these different things and just like really being her own boss. And I look at that to be very inspiring. So I'll definitely be checking uh, out the Desi skincare line and I'm curious to see what she's going to come up with. And then the last product to chat about is from Makeup Revolution. Once again, they have their Revolution skincare overnight collection. And the first thing I see is enriched enriched with dreamy essential oils. So it's probably going to be a no for me because I try not to like hype up my skincare collection with essential oils. But there's a cleansing oil, a restoring concentrate, a soothing sleeping mask, and the overnight calming dream mist for $9 or the full collection is $40. So I'm probably not going to grab it. I feel like the packaging reminds me a little like, I want to say like Estee Lauder, like kind of like old school. Like I feel like I had a product at one point from Estee Lauder that looked like this, but I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> Um, but that's gonna be that's gonna be a no for me uh, let me just double check I think that's everything for this week so let me know your thoughts on this week's will I buy it video again stay tuned my Sephora video I think will be coming on Friday with my recommendations my wish list is already up uh, other than that if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video bye